Good morning everybody and welcome to Normandy. I'm here in the north of France, in Etretat, which is famous for its white alabaster coastline. There are some amazing cliffs here, which are really great for landscape photography. The sun should come up in about 20 minutes and should shed some light on the cliffs behind me. That's when we're gonna go take some pictures. And today it's a really windy morning, that's why I'm dressed like this in all kinds of layers to protect myself from the wind. It's not very cold, but it's still very aggressive wind and yeah, you feel better when you wear a lot of layers. So I've already set up the camera right over there and we're gonna go have a look there now. So when you're heading out like this for sunrise, always remember to bring some food with you. Sometimes the wait can be quite long and, well, I get hungry. So I arrived here in Etretat yesterday, but I was too tired from the long drive from Luxembourg to get up for sunrise. But I did head out for sunset, so I will show you some footage of that now. I'm just getting back from tonight's sunset. I didn't really expect much because it was very windy and very cloudy the whole day, but in the end the sky opened up and there was some gorgeous light here in Normandy in Etretat and it was a really great sunset. So I didn't really film a lot up there because there was a lot of people. Just have a look at the pictures. When you're done eating, don't leave your trash behind. A banana peel like this takes six months to disappear. So while we wait for the light, I wanted to talk a bit about how to plan your photography trips. There is a lot of things you can already do at home when you are leaving on a trip. One of the first things I do before leaving is check Google Maps. I look for photography spots that I want to visit and I look at the terrain, I look at the elevation, I look where I'm able to go, where the paths are and it's a very useful tool. So another very useful tool is Google Street View because it allows you to see exactly what a location will look like. Here in France there is Google Street View, there is Google Street View in Luxembourg too, there wasn't a couple of years ago and if you're going to Germany however there won't be any street view. Also, when you are packing your gear back at home, you should think about taking the important small things. I mean, take your camera, take your lenses, take your tripod, but do not forget to take some spare batteries. Do not forget to take some extra memory cards. And especially, do not forget to take your chargers, because without your chargers, you won't be able to charge your batteries and you won't be able to use your camera. So once you arrived at your destination, don't just head out at any time of day to go make your pictures. Check the times for sunrise and sunset. Make the effort to get up very early and to head out very late. 
because that's when there's going to be the best light and that's when you are going to be able to make the best pictures. Before you head out to make pictures, you should also have a look at the weather report because checking for sunrise and sunset times is important but the weather report is also important. Is there a lot of wind? Will there be a lot of clouds? Will there be some rain maybe? So always be mindful of the weather and dress accordingly and bring the necessary gear to not endanger yourself when you're out there. Especially if you're visiting a location that can be dangerous like mountains or the sea coast when you have cliffs like here in Etretat. You just have to be careful and you just have to have some good shoes on your feet and to have some jacket to protect you from the winds and then you're gonna be just fine. When you come back from your shooting, from your sunrise or your sunset, there are a couple of things you should do. You should first of all charge the batteries you've used because you want them to be charged for the next time you head out. The other thing you should do is back up your pictures. You should transfer all the pictures you took from the different SD cards and put them on your computer or on a hard drive if you have that with you. So you should always think about a possibility to back up your pictures. What I usually do is I take the SD card, I back up the pictures on my computer and I have an extra small hard drive which also allows me to do a third backup. So yeah, I'm kind of crazy. I have three copies of my pictures, but at least I never lose anything. So there is more and more and more clouds in the sky. So I'm not really sure if the sun is going to show up. I'm not sure if we're going to get some light on those cliffs today. But at least I got some pictures here at sunset yesterday. So I'll wait a bit longer and we'll see. So the sky behind me is just getting cloudier and cloudier by the minute. I don't think the sun will show up anytime soon and we will probably not get any light this morning. I knew it would be risky this morning because I checked the weather report and I knew there would be a lot of clouds this morning. But you never know, you might get lucky, there might be some sun rays coming through the clouds or some colorful sky. That's why I went out anyway. I'm going back home without any pictures this morning but I will head out again for sunset tonight because the weather report says it should be sunny and hopefully it will be. Nothing is untrue. Welcome to the sunset everybody. So as promised, the weather report wasn't wrong. There is not a single cloud in the sky anymore and the sun has finally come out to play. There is some light on the white alabaster cliffs and I can finally take some pictures. I'm taking a picture of the famous needle of Etretat, which is this white stone pillar which comes out of the sea over there. And there is this nice beach here which creates a leading line all the way to the needle and the arch. So I'm taking a few pictures of that. <music> So 
So the sun has just set behind the horizon and it's already 10 o'clock now. It's been a very, very long day. I got up at five in the morning to go out for sunrise and now it's already 10 o'clock and I'm really getting tired. These were a couple of very challenging days here in Etretat in the north of France because it was a long drive to get here from Luxembourg and then getting up for sunrise always is a bit tiresome. The weather was also very challenging because it rained a lot and it was very cloudy. These were not the ideal conditions to make some great landscape photography. Like today there is not a single cloud anymore and this morning there were just too many clouds. So you never know what to expect from the weather and sometimes you get lucky and other times you just don't. That's the way of the landscape photographer. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for part two because in a couple of days I'm going to another location and I will film a second video. Hopefully the weather will be a bit better over there. So we'll see about that. So again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel to stay tuned and see the next videos. And yeah, that's it for now. See you next time. Bye bye.